Hola de nuevo. Welcome to audio number seven in our range of vocabulary builders for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Now, we're on the second half of the Ds, okay? And we're going to start with day, as in today is Tuesday, day. And the word for day is dia. Dia. So imagine somebody who you love saying to you, how are you today, dear? How are you today, dear? Okay, dear. Day. Money, okay, money is dinero. Dinero. And so just think of the famous actor, Robert De Niro. He has lots of money, or he should have. So Robert De Niro has lots of dinero, okay? The next one is address, where we live, our address, okay? And the word in Spanish is dirección or dirección. Okay, dirección or dirección. And so how you remember that is when you're asking for somebody's address, you, sort of, you, want, you want to say, which, in which direction is your address? In which direction do I go to get to your address? Okay, so address and directions, very similar, isn't it? Dirección, dirección, okay. Now, the next word is available, available. Okay, and this is a nice word. I like this word. The word is disponible. Disponible. Mm -hmm. And I think um, we've got a very similar word, which is dis disposable. If we talk about I've got disposable income, that means spare, available. Okay, so I've got available and a disposable income, disponible. Disponible. Okay. Next one. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bedroom is dormitorio. Dormitorio. So what does that sound like? Dormitory. And of course, in the schools where people, children used to have to go and live away from home, they used to sleep in dormitories, okay? Um, dormitorios, dormitorios, okay? Next one is doubt, doubt. Okay, this one is duda. I always think of the song duda, duda de. I don't know why, duda, okay? And so this is how I want you to remember it. So you say, oh, I doubt he'll do that. I doubt he'll do that. I doubt he'll do that. Do that is doubt. Oh, he won't do that. I doubt it. Okay. I doubt he'll do that. Do that. And then this one, which is hard. Okay. And now, you know how in English we can say, oh, that's hard to do, or that's a hard surface? Well, the same word applies in Spanish. They still have, you can use it for both contexts. And so it's duro. Duro, okay? Now, we have a wealth of words in English that are, that are the same as that, from the same root, which are durable, durability, endure. Endurance, yeah. So they've all got this word du, dur, dur, which is dur, yeah. So duro is hard. Hard, a hard person, una persona dura, okay. Or a hard surface, una superficie dura, okay. So duro is hard. Okay, now let's test you. That's a nice short one. So what about this word? Dia. 
How are you two? De, dia. Dia is day, okay? What about this one? Dinero. Dinero. And you're thinking of Robert De Niro. Money. Dinero. What about this one? Dirección or dirección. Dirección. In which direction is your address? Exactly. Uh, next one. Disponible. Disponible. So I have available a disposable income. Okay, disponible, available. And this one, nice and easy. Dormitorio. Dormitorio. Bedroom. Bedroom, yeah. Okay. Um, and what about this one? Duda. do that. I doubt he'll do that. Okay, so do that's doubt. And duro. Duro. Think of durable, endure, hard. Duro is hard. Okay, bien. Now, what I'm doing, I don't know if you've noticed this, I'm giving you the Spanish word so you can remember the English word. Now that is the easier of the two ways of doing it. What's a little bit more challenging is if I were to give you the English word and you had to give me the Spanish word. However, that's what I would like you to do. Um, if you have access to the book, if you obviously if you're listening to this audio or if you're watching this video and you have the book, then I want you to go to the vocab builder as we do this and then start checking yourself out with both of the words. Cover up the English um, and then work out what the English is by looking at the Spanish and then cover up the Spanish and work out what it is by looking at the English, okay? That's how you really cement these words into your head by bouncing backwards and forwards. How do you say it in Spanish? How do you say it in English? What, what does that mean in English? What does that mean in Spanish? Okay, and that's a really powerful way. This is, I've used this system and I know that that's the way to do it. You must check yourself both ways. Don't just rely on uh, recognizing the Spanish word. You must be able to get the Spanish word out of your mouth as well. Okay, pues nos vemos en el próximo y vamos a empezar con la E, the E. Hasta luego.